Hey guys, I'm really excited about today's warm up. Um, one of our students in Princeton, I believe it was, requested um, to learn how to draw a fox. And foxes are these really fascinating and intelligent animals. Um, and I'm excited about drawing a fox. I think they're pretty cool, but I'm also excited because this is 100% um, my own step-by-step -step guide to drawing a fox. So let's get started. We're just gonna be focusing on the fox's face today. And I did a couple different scenarios and I, I finally decided on one that I just thought was pretty cute. So we're gonna go with that. So we're gonna start with a circle like we do in so many drawings, okay? So we're gonna lightly sketch this out because as you should be getting familiar with, uh, you will eventually be doing some erasing. All right, so I've got a circle sketched out. Now, the next step that I did is I drew a circle that just barely, um, so it overlaps and just barely extends down beyond the circle. So it's basically center and down just a little bit below the circle, okay? This is gonna help us form uh, the snout or the nose on the fox, okay? So once you have that done, um, this line is essentially going to be used to help us determine where the mouth is. So now we're gonna come up in here and we are going to uh, draw, if you wanna think about it as a triangle, an upside down triangle, the point down and rounded edges. Okay, very basic uh, nose. If you had me in sixth grade, which most of uh, you did, then um, you'll remember an assignment we did with collage. We learned how to draw all sorts of different animal noses and things like that. All right, so this would eventually get shaded in. I'm gonna draw the nostrils in there, get shaded in. I may go back in with colored pencils. That's why I'm not doing it super dark right now. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the little curved line of the mouth coming out into the side of the circle. Okay, out into the side of the circle. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow that circle up and this is actually also going to work as a guide to help us um, map out where the white of the fox's nose is and where the orange begins, okay? So we're using that as a guide. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up from the edge of these circles and we're just going to draw a gentle light line coming out on either side. From here, I am going to do a line that curves just a little bit and down. And I am going to draw shape of the eye in, so circle. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna curve the ends of these a little bit. thing is to map out where the orange of the sky's face is. So from here, if you think about it as being a line out this direction and a line out to this side, but we want to indicate that this is fur. So we're just going to do a squiggle line in the general area of where we had that um, initial diagonal line. So I can pull that out now. Add a few lines here. I'm just going to go back here. Do that little line. Put some shading in right in that center part if you want. Okay. From here on the bottom of this circle, we're going to do the same thing where we're doing kind of a rougher line around the edges to indicate the texture of the fox's fur. So 
you can already see just how adding a few details really changes us and this just started out with um, some circles and basic shapes I'm also going to put some lines indicating uh, more fur okay then I am going to come up here and my next step is to draw a triangle for the ear I think of foxes as having rather large pointed ears come down on this side just like this and um, there's a black tip on the ear we'll add some lines for fur right in there we're gonna come on this side and I'm gonna do something different and ha instead of having the um, the fox's ear stand straight up on both sides I'm actually going to take and draw this fox's ear pointed down. I saw a drawing or a painting like this where the fox's ear was pointed down and I just loved the way it looked so I thought well let's give it a try. Okay so just coming back in here a line from here coming up to there and then again that black that's on the tip of the ear. So Let's try adding um, some color to see how this would change. Um, you can follow along with the video. Um, and I'm gonna just maybe throw some colored pencil in there. Um, maybe add some shading. I'm not 100% sure yet. So stick with me and we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. 